Hey guys, Annabelle here, but my real names are Anne Baru. Um, most of y'all know me to have been in the Big Brother Chase Africa 2013. I was proud to have just been in the house because it was an amazing experience. My first kiss was, what you say, it was disgusting at that point because I was really young, uh, not experienced. I won't mention names because we're really good friends. Uh, I'd say it lasted for six months, but I can say for a 16 or 17 year old that time, let's just say I was a thousand points as compared to all my other friends. <laughs> ah, wow. <laughs> Famous grouse. I can't say that I remember everything that happened that night, but let's just say I got sloshed, I blacked out, and ever since I hated that drink. So yeah, let's keep it moving. First college, Easter University, where I studied psychology. When I actually joined the Big Brother Africa this year, I won't even lie, I loved it. It was a beautiful and amazing experience. Can I even drive? Do I even own a car? First of all, never even give me your car keys because I will bash your car. I'd say it's the minute I actually walked on stage bearing the Kenyan flag, speaking to IK and entering the house, it made me feel special. I shouldn't care what people say and I should always, I should always just be myself. I shouldn't be afraid of expressing who I am because we only have one life to live anyway. You know, sometimes I actually forget, like I'm actually a public figure or celebrity. So people run up to me, small children, I think it just makes me happy. Uh, Linda, I'd say Jane, I'd say my brother, I'd say my cousin. I'd want to say so many other people, but let me just keep it real. Two of my very good friends are Linda and Jane. My inspiration comes from my mom. She's always been a go-getter, a lady who's been through so much. CK, the one, rosy, love it, classy, beautiful. <laughs> Adele, someone like you. Michael Kors, Epic Nation. South is all, Melanie Music, Kagwe Mungai. I'd say the Chevrolet 1930. I'm more into vintage cars. Maybe one day be the Secretary General of the UN. I'm into diplomacy, so later on in life. Traveling all over the world, taking cruise ships and visiting the seven wonders of the world. If I say Brad Pitt, many of y'all would just stone me now. So I'd say someone who understands me, someone who's at working, someone who judged me from who I am or rather who I used to be. And definitely good looking. Uh, I was actually when people I was working with who are a bit older than me, who knew literally nothing of what they were like doing and I knew much more and just because of like my age, they totally like didn't hear me out which made me feel bad considering like I was qualified. After the Big Brother house, I'd say I've been involved in a lot of charity work. People should expect more of me out there. People shouldn't also um, judge me based on Big Brother and just because I was in the house, that means that maybe it's, it was just all about just being seen and looking all glamorous. I'm actually a very hardworking person. If you have the passion to do something, don't even wait, do it. You know, just don't be the person who talks a lot and does less. And keep a positive attitude and be with people who will lift you up. So yeah, and be happy. Always don't forget to smile.